Stack it. One, two, three, four. Yes! Penny players, Robert here. We've got the return of two event types. Kind of. Let's check it out. It's the Yoma Shogi Clash of Hidden Treasures YouTube event. If you remember, it was a few months ago that we had the first YouTube Grand Prix event, and this uses all the same minigames and introduces the Shogi element, but skips the actual Japanese YouTubers. After you complete an event battle, there's a chance that a live stream will appear. During the live stream, which is not an actual live stream if you're wondering, you'll have 20 minutes to rack up as many views as possible. You get views by participating in minigames. In order to play the minigames, you'll need stamina, which unlike most events, fills extremely fast, one every minute. The maximum stamina is 40, so you're going to be playing a lot if you don't want to waste any. At the end of 20 minutes, your views are totaled, and that may become your new high view count. There are prizes depending on how high you can get your view count in any single 20 minute period. Both Great King's Pawn Arachnival and Snake King's Army Looney have a large view bonus. Snake King's Army Beetle and Snake King's Army Frizzell have a medium view bonus. Each time you earn views, your YouTuber bonus can level up as well. Think of it as your subscriber count. Snake King's Army Komasan has an experience bonus. Since it's a shogi event, there are two yokai with transformation skills, Arachnival and Total Demon. By meeting certain criteria during a battle, you transform the yokai to use their secondary skill. Snake King's Lance Total Demon is befriendable on the impossible stage. Arachnival has damage and defense bonuses as well as reduces Total Demon's fever drain. Great King's Army Alpina also has damage and defense bonuses. You earn Y points in this event by earning views, and Total Demon and Great King's Army Jamanyan both have Y point bonuses. As soon as you enter the event, you're immediately taken into a tutorial livestream to play Nyantos Cola. Just go with it. Tap all the buttons the arrows tell you to. Now, Nyantos Cola is a rhythm game of sorts. Robanyan is going to fly around and you need to tap the button to have him drop his Nyantos, the little white cat head things. You want to do it over the open mouth of the cola bottle, otherwise they'll drop on the ground. Every time you successfully drop a Nyantos in the bottle without dropping any on the ground, your combo grows. The more the combo grows, the more points you get, and better versions of Robanyan show up with even more points. Moral of this story. Don't drop your Nyantos. Here it's going to calculate the views for this run, which are low because you just started live streaming and no one has hit that like and subscribe if you know what I mean. It'll also give you your Y points, which will also be low. Since it's a tutorial, it ends there. Let's crank. We've got four new yokai in the gasha, a ZZ, a Z, and two SSS ranks. Thank you. 
Great King's Army Beetal is a brave SSS rank attack booster. His skill can partially fill his soul meter when you pop large poonie. Snake King's Army Komasan is a charming SSS rank center popper and healer. His skill can partially heal you when his large puny are popped. Snake King's Army Looney is a shady Z rank center popper who creates starlight balls. His skill partially fills other yokai's soul meters when popping his large puny. Great King's Pawn Arachneval is a brave ZZ rank popper. His skill keeps his soul meter partially filled after using his soul smit. If you link 8 or more of his puny, he'll transform. His transformation skill makes his puny grow larger than normal when linking. Let's go back and check out the other live streaming mini games. I'll just go ahead and complete stage 1. And here we go. Since stamina fills so quickly, if you start with a full stamina meter, you can actually do 5 10 stamina runs because your meter will fill within the 20 meters. I mean minutes. However, you can't get that 6 runoff because you'll be just shy of full. You can see a yellow banner has shown up. That's a viewer request. There's also some yellow and red text above the pink minigame, meaning that that is the game requested. If I go ahead and play that game, which is mini mystery quiz, then I'll get some bonus views. If you're familiar with the Miss Terry quiz in the normal maps, then you're ready for this. If not, basically we're going to get 7 requests that you have a limited time to complete. If you don't know Japanese, it can be pretty tough. The best thing is to memorize the patterns of characters so you know what to do. I've listed most of the patterns on the right side of the video. Next, we'll try the Punido Shot minigame. Bottom line, it's like the Punido Shot event with two differences. One, the Puni are much bigger, with potentially even worse thick physics. And two, you get points even if you don't hit the boss, which is awesome. If you're not familiar with Punido Shot, just look at one of my recent videos. Since I've already shown you Nyanto's Cola, I'll just fast forward that one. Now we'll go to the Ohajiki minigame. It's normal Ohajiki, except all of the boards are twice as long. 
They tend not to be the hardest layouts, but any little mistake gets amplified as your puny slides down the board. At the end, your total views are shown. Then, if any fellow YouTubers helped you out, they're shown as well. Lastly, any prizes you received in your current place on the all-time leaderboard. Stage 9 is the first hidden route unlock. In order to unlock the hidden stage, you'll need to create a size 15 or larger puny. Hidden Stage 1 features Mr. Taipu, and it's tribe restricted to brave, tough, heartful, and shady. No continues allowed. 6800 hit points and 142 damage every 3 seconds. Watch out. Stage 23 is the second hidden route unlock. In order to unlock the second hidden stage, you need to connect 20 or more Puni at once. Hidden Stage 2 features Walled In and has the same tribe restrictions. Walled In has 12,000 hit points and does 560 damage every 5 seconds. Stage 45 features the third Hidden Root Unlock. You can also see it's a dream match. There are a few of these, and basically you need to have the specified yokai on your team when you complete the battle in order to win the prize. Almost all of them require yokai I don't have yet, because they come as rewards. Looney has 29,000 hit points and does almost 600 damage every 5 seconds. In order to unlock the third hidden stage, you simply need to clear this stage. Hidden Stage 3 features Total Demon. Same tribe restrictions, no continues, and this is the impossible stage. He's got 220,000 hit points and does 1200 damage every 2 seconds. 
for an impossible that's not horrible, however he has a 2000 damage counter, debuffs, and fever drains every few seconds. I've brought Lucifer with her skill too for revive, and I'm building Robo for his prefill and redraw, Earthwalker and uh, Lion Reborn whatever his name is, for tribe unity, and of course the bonus with Arachnevil. This stage is definitely doable without the bonus, I've seen people do it, but for now let's see how I do. Arachnevil doesn't actually do that much damage, but he does help with defense and fever drain. Alright, by the skin of my teeth. No befriending on the first 33 battles, though. Snake King's Lance Total Demon is a mysterious ZZ rank all popper and soul meter filler. His skill redrops large puni that are popped and he can be transformed by performing two sultimates of any yokai. His secondary skill after transformation can drop bonus balls instead of his puni. Alright, it's late in the day. I'm at level 45 in terms of YoTube experience. It's time to go for it. I'm going to do 40 energy runs and I can get about 4 to 5 million per run with all 4 bonuses. With the right circumstances, I can probably do six, but friends are going to help me out. I did two runs of Punito Shot, two runs of Mini Mystery Quiz, another run of Punito Shot, and finished up with Long Ohajiki. A few people were simultaneously running at the end, and I blew past 40 million. All of these friends really helped me, and made it possible for me to get this video out in a day. To the Y Point Shop. The first tab is a normal Y Point Shop. You can buy any of these, they just need to be unlocked based on your YouTube level experience. There are three drinks here you can buy to replenish your stamina. The second tab has the rewards for progressing past various high view counts. You'll need to reach 40 million to get all the rewards, like I just did. The third tab has rewards you can buy with friend points, including a drink and bonuses for views and Y points. Snake King's Army Frizzell is a tough SS rank vertical line popper. His skill can fill his soul meter partially when you use other yokai's soul smiths. Great King's Army Jibanyan is a charming SSS rank double line popper and bonus ball maker. His skill partially fills his soul meter when you enter fever. Great King's Army Alpina is a heartful Z rank popper who then drops her own puni. Her skill is Revive and Soul Meter Fill. How about those event quests? First, clear stage 1, second, clear stage 13, third, reach 30,000 views, fourth, clear hidden stage 2, fifth, clear stage 45 without continues, sixth, reach 100,000 views, seventh, play that score attack, y'all. Time to test those yokai. Komasan. Eight hundred eighty nine thousand and a heal. Jibanyan. Seven hundred eighty five thousand. Dud. Yeah, 
Alpina. One point one seven million. Nice. Looney. One point one six million. Total Demon. One point five four million. Arachnival. One point four five million. Interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back. Thank you.